Hello guys, this is Mr. J, also known as Mr. Rage! And right now this is going to be a different kind of video. I haven't done scripted, uh, scripted videos in a while, but I feel like the situation calls for it. Alright, so, with the recent Newswire update, Rockstar has all but admitted that they're abandoning Red Dead Online. Ever since the Blood Money update on July 14, 2021, fans, myself included, have been frustrated with Rockstar appearing to neglect the game. Over time, this went from a theory into a fact. Players were going around dressing up in clown suits in 2020 to start in the hashtag Save Red Dead Online. For a while, it seemed like the hashtag was actually working. Rock Rockstar tried their best to ignore it, but, but even they couldn't ignore their stocks. In the end, though, it seems that after all this, it's finally coming to its bitter end. Rockstar themselves said in Newswire that they're given lesser updates in the form of telegram missions, which are no different than the types of contact missions that the game had when it first launched. They did a similar thing with Blood Money, outside of voice cutscenes and developing the character of Guido Martelli, who was only mentioned near the end of the single player game. They've also admitted that this is all done because they're updating GTA Online and at the same time working on GTA 6. I mean, if I'm being honest, we all knew this is the whole reason. GTA, especially GTA Online, is their best money maker. Now, a corporation will always be at the money at the end of the day. But there was a time when Rockstar genuinely cared about making good games that people loved. When they valued quality and the love of their fans over the sales of microtransactions and pleasing their investors. That was a time when Rockstar still had their integrity. <laughs> Excuse me. Now, if I can divert for just a minute, I have to say, it's too little too late that they're finally adding in options to eat snacks and put on armor outside of opening up some dinky little menu to spam snacks in order to keep yourself alive while you're getting shot. In GTA Online, I mean. Now, it's the same thing with armor. One thing I hope they do, and a lot of people have been asking for this. Heck, even the Gilly Master himself made a video about this idea. I'll link it in the description. I hope they add the means to buy new snacks and armor from the restart screens in GTA Online. Too many times have good heist attempts been completely ruined because they run out of supplies. All their effort, suffering, and hard work is completely flushed down the toilet because Rockstar made it so you can only buy that stuff in stores. Now, GTA Online launched on October 1st of 2013. By October of this year, the game will officially be 9 years old. And only now do they choose to add this. It just goes to show how little Rockstar value their players. Now, I said this in a comment for a video about Red Dead Online's funeral. Rockstar doesn't have any fans, just customers that they sell their crap to. And let me say something else. For all those who told fools like me, that, sorry, folks like me, that Rockstar should be neglecting Red Dead Online for GTA Online over their money, take a good look at what they're doing now. They've added GTA Plus for people to buy and get extra benefits like exclusive cars, libraries, higher payouts, and who knows what's next. Heck. The whole success of GTA Online is the reason that GTA 6 has been delayed. It's been what? Like, almost a decade? No, it's been... Let's see. It's been almost a decade since, since GTA 5 was released. And how many games they made since then? Aside from Red Dead 2? They've been remaking... They've been re-releasing GTA 5 and Online for, for multiple different platforms. It's as bad as Skyrim, if not worse. <sighs> anyway, uh, let's see. They've also been given the means for, for players to suffer through things like the Oppressor Mark II, or their outright unholy levels of awful anti-cheat that's about as effective as applying Band-Aid to a limb that's covered in gangrene. And I feel like that's exactly what Red Dead Online has become. Of course, that's not to say that Red Dead Online hasn't had its own share of problems. You've got griefers riding around using Lancaster repeaters, the Carcano and Roland Block rifles. All of them are the best weapons for griefers. Anyway, 
That's to say nothing about all the dynamite arrows and the god mode glitches that they have that aren't too dissimilar, although maybe not, not as easily accessed, as those in GTA Online. You can still get ambushed during cell missions, and the game will outright give the notification that you're selling stuff that lets any prospect of griefers know that, hey, this guy is selling stuff. Go blow him up for chump change. Now, a lot of the fun I've had in Red Dead Online wasn't just the missions or the content, but actually the kinds of people I've met that also play this game. I'm not kidding when I say it. I've gotten to know some real upstanding folks who play this game, despite how much Rockstar has left it to rot. All in all, Red Dead Online had a long, Red Dead Online, and even Red Dead 2 has had a long and horrible history, even going back all the way to, to where it was being developed. Developers are crunched together, even to the point where they had to abandon the sequel to the much-loved bully game that Rockstar released 16 years ago. It was also Dan Hauser's final act before he left the company for good, leaving his brother Sam to run it into the ground with Take Two. It took all of them, took all of this, for them to finally admit that they're letting this game die. This game deserves so much better. But hey, it's been a good run. This is it's just the way it is at the end of the day. I'm Mr. J, also known as Mr. Rage. This is our last ride for Red, Dead, for Red Dead Online. Let's make the most of it. God bless and Godspeed.